Well, good morning. It is 11 a.m. on Friday, October 27th. And I am here at the Magnetowan Lake Access in Algonquin Park. It is raining. It's supposed to rain all day today. Uh, the temperature's pleasant though. It's about 14, 15 degrees. I don't know if I've ever been to this access. I think I have once, maybe like 15 years ago, but I don't remember it at all. Um, but I'm here today uh, just doing a simple trip, uh, about three small portages into Daisy Lake. And I'm um, going to stay there for two nights. I called the office yesterday. There is no one camping on Daisy either night, tonight or tomorrow. And there is only one car here at the access right now. So perfect weekend for uh, a remote trip in Algonquin, even though this area is usually swarmed with people. Um, it is not today because of the time of year and the weather. And uh, that's my jam. So I'm super happy to be here. I can't wait to check out Daisy. I've never been to Daisy and um, I'm interested to see what it's like. <laughs> Got some crazy changes in the weather happening. Uh, right now it's about 14, 15 degrees. It's feeling quite pleasant, but it's also raining. It's gonna rain all day today, right until about midnight, 1, 2 a.m. And then the temperatures are gonna start dropping in the wee hours of the morning, probably even five, six, seven. Uh, there's temperatures gonna start going down to about six, five degrees, feels like two. And then tomorrow all day, it's not supposed to rain. It's supposed to be fairly sunny. Um, high of six, low of two, feels like two. And uh, then Saturday night, the temperature is gonna drop even further to around minus three or minus four. And then Sunday, it's gonna be chilly, but again, hopefully no rain. All right, it's 11.35. Lots of pictures and videos this morning. Um, it's raining, don't really feel it much. It's kind of like misting. Uh, it's not supposed to be a lot of accumulation every hour, but it is supposed to rain all day. Well, after paddling a whole five minutes, including filming and pictures, I have come to the portage. Oh, nice soft landing, love it. asked me on my videos the other day uh, why I was carrying my yoke. Uh, a lot of times when I have portages that are 100 meters or less, I don't bother setting up the yoke and the paddles and everything and I just kind of put the canoe here, put my neck right here on this. This is locked so it doesn't flap open. I just put my neck there and I just carry it like that. It's not super comfortable, but for a small portage, it's not a big deal. So it just works better that way. It takes a lot less time to uh, do the portage if I don't set up the yoke. Ah! I still have frozen shoulder and oh, it can be really bad. Every once in a while, I just move my arm weird and so much pain, and then it just goes away in like 30 seconds. Sooner or later, it's gotta go away. Let's get 
you're done. All right, made it to the other side in no time. Uh, because my hands were full, I didn't film the portage. 135 meters, I'm in Hambone now, but I gotta go back and get the canoe. Uh, as I anticipated, this portage is wet, really wet, um, which is totally irrelevant because I've got my proper footwear on, got my seal skins waterproof socks and my keen sandals and uh, I can just tromp right through all this stuff. Good amount of water here on the portage. I wonder when I come out if it'll be frozen, if there'll be some ice on them. Uh, so I'm at Hambone Lake. I just have to paddle uh, around the corner to the next portage, which is a 55 meter. Uh, the rain has definitely uh, gotten heavier. Uh, so that's always fun. Hopefully my phone cooperates. It is supposed to be waterproof up to three meters. All right, I am on Hambone Lake. Hambone, Hambone, have you heard? Some beautiful tamaracks here. A little bit dulled by the weather, but still quite beautiful. the portage now, a little 55 meter. Let's see if we get baby loons that uh, weren't up to taking the flight. I don't know. Oh yeah, there's the white belly. Most likely they didn't get to fly south with the rest of their friends and family because maybe they're not strong enough or big enough. I'm not sure 100% if that's true, but I think it is. Anyways, I'm just going down this little waterway towards the 55 meter and there's some beautiful tamaracks here. Look at this. It's gorgeous. Oh, there's more around the corner. Rain's picked up again. The wind is pushing it into my face. It's just lovely. Beautiful scenery here, even in the rain. So we got a couple of uh, merganser ducks here, in their little family. There's five of them. Just kind of hanging out here in the corner of the lake. Look at the beautiful colors here. Look at that. Gorgeous. Look at this 
Just stunning. 55 meter. Here we go. Uh, it is about five to one. Just got the canoe here all loaded up and I'm just gonna paddle out here and see uh, if I would have had to do that portage or not now that I've done it. Silly girl. I didn't know how pretty it is though. Yeah, it looks like I could have just coasted right through this. So just a note, if the water levels aren't super low you can probably totally skip this portage, which I will do on Sunday when I leave. All right, it is one o'clock. Took me no time at all just to paddle across that little section there. And uh, I am now coming up to the 420 meter portage into Daisy Lake. Um, unbelievably beautiful landing here. I'm not used to these axes. They're just so beautiful. Usually I've got to climb over rocks and boulders and lift the canoe up over top of all kinds of obstructions. This is just beautiful. Okay, 420 meter. I am going to set up the uh, canoe for portaging for this one with the yoke. something. I don't know if I've ever done anything like this before. <laughs> okay then. Interesting. Welcome to Daisy Lake. Just gotta go get my boat and it's just not too far. Uh -huh. 
need to get around it. <laughs> It is two o'clock now. <laughs> I told you I was going to take my time today. Could have gotten through this pretty quickly, but um, lots of filming, lots of videos, lots of pictures. I'm finally here at Daisy. I'm going to make my way through, look for my campsite. All right, as I mentioned, it's just uh, going on two o'clock here. <laughs> Looks like there might be a beaver dam blocking the way here at the end. I'm not sure. Let's see when we get there. Oh no, look at what we have here. Got a drop off. I was looking way ahead at the other beaver dam. I wasn't even looking at this. I think I might feel more comfortable doing that on the side. Just in case. Oh, the water's super shallow though. The other beaver dam's open at the end. We got a good pull around here. After two, just kind of puttering around the lake. I was looking for firewood and saw some pieces, so I kind of went over and tried to crack them off, but they just seemed too wet. And uh, some of the other ones I tried to get, they were just too wet. <laughs> Hello, guys. A balloon over here. Loons here. They both went under. Oh, never heard a loon sound like that. Hi, buddy. You okay? Oh. Oh, maybe he's crying because his parents left him. He just went under, and then the other one went under too. I've never heard a loon make that sound. That's really sad. All right, so there's the first campsite. That's on the left side. Um, I believe the sun's gonna come up somewhere over here and it'll get afternoon sun. But uh, the fire pit is right out on the rocks and uh, I can't tear up that. I mean, I could. I'm sure I could find a way, but nah. All right, here is the campsite on the south side of the island. Um, <laughs> it's an interesting landing, and I don't actually see a landing at all, really. But it might be really sheltered by the looks of it. I'm going to see, first of all, how I can get up here, and if it's worth it, if there's a good good area. So it's a shelter, then I might stay here. Alright, just pulled the boat up here on this rock, and... Uh, 
I actually tied it up to this root here because I don't want it going anywhere while I'm checking out the campsite. Ooh, slippery. All right, let's see what we got. Hopefully something good. I'd love to just stay here and be done paddling. This open spot here. Oh my gosh, look at this fire pit. That is such a fire pit. I don't even know. Oh, I guess down here. I was like, what's up there? Like, it's like a two-tier fire pit. Uh, very tarpable. Yes. <laughs> uh, fairly sheltered. It's a big campsite. Looking for the privy sign. Oh, there's one here somewhere. Real Algonquin. There's always a privy here. Well, not always, but <laughs> most of the time. Well, it's really sheltered here. Can't even feel the rain. Don't see any signs for a privy. I really gotta get this thing out of my shoe. Okay, I'll be back. <laughs> I found the privy. That was quite a hike. Uh oh, this wood looks weird. Hmm. It's pretty full, but it's also very new, so. Yeah. So let's see how difficult it is to get back in. It's under some trees, so it's got some shelter a little bit. Hi. <laughs> well, it's quarter after three somehow. Um, it's still raining. We have a good amount of shelter. Um, I can obviously still see the rain, feel the rain. Too hungry to wait to set up my tarp. I decided just to sit in the rain and eat my wrap. I had leftover chicken thigh from dinner the night before with some shredded cheese and mayonnaise. It was quite tasty and hit the spot. I got my tarp up. I'm still messing with it a little bit, but I'm quite happy with it. It goes over the bottom fire pit, not this fire pit, I'm not using that. Um, and it comes out just a little bit past it. So it's perfect, not that one, this one here. Um, so I can cook on it. Uh, all the wood that was under there was kind of wet-ish. Uh, There's a couple pieces that were on the bottom that were pretty dry. So I just kind of stood them all up and moved them over because the tarp ends just after the bench, but I didn't want the rain to come in and make it even wetter. So I stood them all up. I can't charge my phone because the lightning cable port thing is wet. I've had this happen before. Um, I filmed like to death today. I filmed so much stuff and I'm good with it. That, that's why it took me forever to get here. And I, that's what I wanted to do today. This is what I enjoy doing stuff like this. So um, I did that and now my phone's at 4% and I can't charge it. So I'm not gonna take a lot of videos. I'm just gonna take one and update you and then I will come back after I get to charge my phone whenever that is. So I'm keeping it in my inside pants pocket and uh, there's some fleece in there and I have one of those absorber things. Uh, I keep always keep them from the food and I put them in the bottom of my bear vault. So I went down there and got them. Oh, and I just saw a mouse in the fire pit and he wasn't, I was like, hey, and he was just walking around. He didn't even care that I was here. Um, so yeah, that's sucky. I hope I don't have that to deal with when it gets dark because I want to stay by the fire because it's going to get cold and um, those mouse I had some really bad mice in Killarney and uh, not good. My phone is at one percent the mouse is still running around I'm setting up my tent under my tarp so it doesn't get wet because it's still raining and that's it still can't charge it. Okay bye! All right, tent's all set up. I blew up the thermarest and I put that in there and set it up and the pillow because they don't weigh very much. And I'm just gonna take it over to the little spot there, uh, just behind there where I wanna put it. I've got my ground sheet and my stakes and uh, then I'll bring the other stuff in there. I gotta get this stuff out of here because the mouse is poking around. I, I think there's only, well, there's never only one, but um, I've only seen the one in the fire pit and then I saw one crawling around here later. I, I'm thinking it's the same mouse, but maybe not. But um, I haven't like seen it in my stuff or anything. I don't have any food out or anything. So um, I just want to put all my stuff away in my tent so that 
you know, I have less, less chance of it getting in something. Look what I got! It's a magic wand. Do you know what's in here? This is a grill. Can you believe it? I cannot believe it. This is a grill from my friend Steve at Sulik 46. I'm gonna put it together and I'll be right back and I'll show you what it looks like. There it is. Look at that. All fit in this little tube and it's super light and it's pretty sturdy or it seems sturdy. We'll find out. I'm gonna use it to cook my dinner and we'll see how it does. It's really cool, very clever. All right, set up the rocks and put the grill on there. I'm gonna make the fire now, push it over into there and then cook my steak. I also have a baked potato. Uh, it's wrapped in foil, but I already nuked it for a couple of minutes. I know people say not to do that. You can get botulism or whatever. I've been doing it for over 20 years. I've never had a problem. I'm not telling you to do it. If you think it's unsafe, don't do it, but I don't have an issue with it. So um, I am going to get my fire going. Hopefully uh, some of this wood burns and uh, get my steak cooked. Well, it certainly took a while to get going, but I think it might be going. Um, the wood is really, really wet. The, everything is wet. The ground is so saturated. All right, what's going on? Try not to look at the camera because I have my headlamp on too. Um, I put my steak on a little bit ago there. And uh, I know that you can't really move it. You're not supposed to move it. I learned this just recently. I, I cooked a steak in a, like a cast iron pan at home. And I'd never done that before. And uh, they said, it's gotta be super, super, super hot. And then you don't move it until it easily releases. My garlic is like super crunchy. It's like, oh, I haven't used it in a while, I guess, I don't know. There we go. Keep this closed. I've been snacking on cookies too. I had a chocolate chip cookie and I had a chocolate covered Oreo. It's so good. Uh, so I pulled my thermometer out. It says it's 15.4 degrees and uh, it's 99% humidity. <laughs> you think? I'm happy though my hair is almost dry. It stopped raining for a little while, um, but I've been mostly under the tarp anyways, but it was nice to be able to kind of walk around and do stuff. I went and brought some stuff to the tent. I brought the backpack and put it away and I, I did, wanted to put it in the vestibule but because of the mice or the mouse whatever I didn't want to leave it out so I put it in the tent okay hurry up I want to eat I'm hungry it's like actually sizzling now it sounds so good I tossed the potato right down there in the fire I needed to heat up fast now I don't want my steak to be ready and not my potato Well, it's 7.25 and I'm still not eating, but I'm getting very close. Uh, I think the potato is almost soft enough and uh, the steak is not mooing in the middle. I like it pinkish, reddish in the middle, but uh, every time I cut it, it looked like the middle was like, I don't know, it was still a little bit frozen actually when I, when I put it on. So the outside cooked pretty quick, but the inside didn't get hot enough. Nice little grill, you don't need much. I mean, it's just me enough to put my steak and my potato on I don't need much else and uh, it fits in a tube and it weighs like nothing I don't know what the weight is um, I'll put it down below I think he said uh, four ish grams we were gonna call it because it's a prototype and things might change so anyways that's about it for now I'll be back soon with my food I'm so hungry all right I just pulled my potato out of the fire and uh, it's nice and soft in the middle I think it should be good hopefully and uh, it was a good thing I nuked it or I would have been here like till nine o'clock. And my steak looks like it's done, I think. I was just trying to get the, this side came out so nice. It got like a nice brush of fire on it and it got like some nice color. And then this side was kind of lacking over here, but now it's looking, it's looking pretty good. It looks like it's super, super tender too. It's been dipping in between the bars of the grill. It's kind of funny. It's like super soft. See like this piece? Anyway, I'm going to take it off and plate it. Ah! Shit. Wow. 
That was almost a disaster. All right, there you go. Steak and baked potato, super simple. Well, it wasn't actually because it was really hard to get the fire going today, but I did it. So winter's coming. I am working on getting a new hot tent. It's gonna be um, a purchase store made one or like somebody's gonna make it, not me. And uh, I'm going with that material because winters, even up north recently, have not really been winter. And it's always raining when I'm out and I'm winter camping and it's like freezing rain and raining and it doesn't go well with the canvas. So I wanna try something different. So I'm gonna try a nylon tent. I have a titanium stove coming from uh, a company called Fire Hiking, which I'm really excited to test out. It has glass and it like folds down and I think it's four pounds. So big, big difference from my uh, Nyko Alaskan Junior, which is like I think 18 or something. And uh, the tent as well uh, is three pounds. Anyways, I'm gonna eat, see ya. better. Rain is one thing that just makes your hands so dirty, especially when you're processing wood and stuff. Uh, I just wanted to come and see if uh, there were any fish, any frogs or anything, but guess what? There's nothing out here. the fire it's nice and cozy and uh, still 15.4 degrees hasn't budged and 99% humidity the winds picking up a bit it's been gusting here and there uh, pretty good gusts but other than that it's pretty good here it stopped raining quite a while ago I think it's been over an hour now since it stopped raining and uh, it's just delightful out um, I don't know if you know this, but I'm not really wearing anything under my jacket. I just have a tank top on. Um, I had the green one on over top of this and the bottom of it got wet because it wasn't it was sticking out of my jacket, I guess. So it kept getting, like I kept tucking it in and then it would get my pants wet. So I just got rid of it. It's hanging up in the tent in the gear hammock. And uh, I just got this one because it's just comfortable with this. Big wind gust just came through. The fire's going crazy. Because <laughs> the wind. Just cleaning off my grill. I, I realized that I forgot to do it. As soon as I took the steak off, I took it off because the fire was going and I couldn't pay attention to it and I wanted to make sure it was good. I didn't want to wreck it or anything, so I just tossed it off. But knows there's a bit of meat bits on there so just cleaning that off with the fire it just started raining again it hasn't rained for like a while probably about maybe an hour and a half maybe almost two hours uh, I think it's about 8 30 45 I don't even know <laughs> oh. <coughs> just started pouring oh my life jacket Shit. while I was sitting here by the fire I looked up and saw the moon uh, it's still raining, or it's raining again, I guess I should say. Um, I did mention it stopped for a while, but now it's been raining for a while. Uh, probably about a half an hour or so now. Just having a little snack. And uh, sitting here listening to the rain and listening to uh, Adam Schultz alone against the north. Well, it's quarter to ten. I'm just sitting here by the fire. And we got my socks and my shoes on, drying my... Um, water socks here by the fire they're very dirty i should have went down to the lake and cleaned them but i couldn't be bothered <laughs> this is actually the insides of them like they're full of I don't know, sand and dirt and stuff so now and my shoes are drying too just want to get everything nice and dry before the cold comes in i haven't heard any more thunder just that one kind of rumble so I'm not sure what's going on, but it is starting to rain lightly again. Um, I thought maybe after that thunder, I was like, oh, you know what, I should probably get in the tent, get ready for bed. And now it's starting to rain. 
Uh, the tarp's really tight. It's sitting really good. I really like how it is. Um, I did tie down over here. You can see the ropes and the light. My uh, headlamp is already dying. I'm going to have to charge it tonight. Well, <laughs> it's thundering and lightning now, and it's raining a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. There. But it is wet under here. It's damp under here. Which is fine. I mean, it's no big deal. I just... It's just got all my dry, everything's dry, so I'm just waiting. Just gonna wait until I get a break and then I'm gonna run for it. <laughs> I gotta do the food still. I, I put it right there on the tree so I could see it. I have to put the um, pork roast stew and I have some eggs in there. They're in uh, like a vitamin container. Yes, I already cracked them. I know, I'm not gonna die, I promise you. Um, they're on frozen, they're cold right now. They're in like, the pork roast is frozen still. So the eggs have been refrigerated this whole time and now the temperature's gonna drop. I gotta turn off this light so you can see the lightning. Hold on, I don't even know how to do it. Oh, there we go. All right, let's see what's going on. Waiting for the lightning, hello. There it is. I just went to uh, put the bear vault away and take a few things to the tent. The ground is just so saturated. It's just like wet and squishy, and, like just everywhere, not in like any particular spots. All right, I just got to put up the fire and then we grab these few things and head to the tent quick before it starts pouring again. Oh yeah, and pee. I'm glad I went when I did. <laughs> I thought maybe it was done, but nope. Lots of thunder, I'm seeing lightning. Obviously can't see it from my tent, which I'm kind of sad about that because I was set up pretty good in the tarp, but it was starting to get really damp and I just had enough of the rain for today. So I was looking forward to getting in my tent. It's like after 10 o'clock. It's not a uh, super early or anything like normal. like. Usually I'm in my tent at like 8.30, 9 o'clock. Um, so I'm just sorting my stuff and then I'm going to try to go to bed really quick because if I wait too long, I'm going to have to go pee again. And I just changed all my clothes, so I don't have my rain pants on anymore. If I have to run out and go pee, I'm going to get wet. I have my umbrella, but it's not fail safe. Listen to that. That's loud. Ninety-nine percent humidity. 5 degrees. All right. Well, I might go to sleep. I might sit up for a bit and listen to the storm. Just trying to listen to my book, and then I had to move my phone because I couldn't hear it anymore. The rain is just like pounding. Hopefully, I'm in an okay spot. Like this is fairly sheltered, and it's uh, it's raining pretty good. so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please click the subscribe button. Also click the bell for notifications. If you'd like to get more information on the stuff I use on my trips, please check out my website at camperchristina.com. Thanks. Bye.